Now, Sayyid Khadija السلام, a lot of reports are conflicting when it comes to her life, especially when it comes to her previous marriages and her age, because there are reports that tell us that she was married to two men before Rasulullah. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it was done for a reason in order to make it seem like Rasulullah's main love and main wife at the time was the one who was young, the one who was not married before him, whereas Sayyidah Khadija was someone who had been married to two men before him. She was not beautiful and that she was old. She was 40 years old when he married her. Isn't that the story that you hear? That Sayyidah Khadija was 40 years old and Rasulullah was 25 and that's why we should marry older women and there's nothing wrong with it. However, yes, there is nothing wrong with that. But that's not the way the story goes. There are five to six narrations concerning the age of Sayyidah Khadija And the first two say that she was in between the ages of 25 or 28, not 40. Some narrations go up to say 50. There's a reason for this, to decrease her rank and raise the rank of another through various reports. But the reason, if you just look at it mathematically speaking, without even reports, this is what I meant, about, I meant about looking at the environment of the history and understanding the chronology and timeline of the history allows you to see the truth of the matter. If Rasulullah was indeed 25 years old and Sayyidah Khadija السلام, was 40 years old and Rasulullah's ba'tha, his message begins when he's 40, that means 15 years later. That makes Sayyidah Khadija 55 years old. And if Sayyidah Fatima alayhi salam is not born to them until after Isra al Mi'raj, which happened five years after the Ba'tha, makes Rasulullah 45 years old and Sayyidah Khadija 60 years old. And so I ask you, is it a conceivable and likely idea that Sayyidah Khadija, a 60 year old woman, would give birth to a baby in this barren land, this in the desert, for no reason at all? Is it likely that she would be 60 years old when she has the baby, when she has Sayyidah Fatima alayhi salam? Or is it more likely on the narration of her being 25 and 28, and Rasulullah being 35 years old? And so Rasulullah, five years later, he is 40, the time of the Ba'tha. And so, Sayyidah Khadija السلام, is in her 30s when she gives birth to Sayyidah Fatima. And she is 8 to 10 years the junior of Rasulullah and not his senior. Likewise, when it comes to the issues of her being married beforehand, but all you have to do is look at the tribe of Quraysh. If Abu Jahl and Abu Sufyan and all these men tried to marry Sayyidah Khadija and she wouldn't accept, how could any other man, random man from another tribe, because those marriages were supposedly to men from another tribe, how could they come and try to marry the princess of Quraysh? Abu Sufyan would never have allowed it. He would have killed them as soon as he tried. No other tribe would come in. They wouldn't intermarry. Tribes would not intermarry, especially the prestigious chiefs of the tribe and the woman that they wanted, Abu Sufyan, would never have accepted it for the woman that he wanted to marry. The only reason he couldn't say anything to Rasulullah because Rasulullah was also from this prestigious clan, from the Banu Hashim. He was from Bani Umayyah. So he couldn't say anything to the Banu Hashim. They were a very powerful clan. But someone else from another tribe, they would never have accepted. And a proof of this is that a woman by the name of Zainab bint Jahsh, she was also a descendant of Abid Shams of Quraysh and of the prestigious clans. And then when Rasulullah came and offered her to marry Zayd, Zayd ibn Harith, Zayd al-Hub, he's the young man who Rasulullah himself raised and loved him so very much. And he offered Zainab to marry Zayd. Zainab replies, you would marry me to Zayd? Wa ana Sayyidat Quraysh? I'm one of the princesses of Quraysh. How could you marry me to someone outside of Quraysh? This is a proof that shows this was not an accepted thing that would happen at the time. And so Sayyidah Khadija السلام, was not married before Prophet Muhammad. And she was 25 or max 28 years old, not 40. Otherwise it means she had Sayyidah Fatima when she was 60. And chronologically, that's weak. You pair that with the narrations that say she was 25, 28, and the timeline fits a lot more.